Good morning, everyone. We are starting a new chapter today in the Orchus Yosher. As we go alphabetically, we come to the letter Gimel. And Gimel stands for Gimilus Chasodim, Acts of Kindness. Says of Chaim Kanievsky Shanino, we learned from our sages, Tzedakah u Gimilus Chasodim, Shekulin Keneged Kol Mitzvah Shabbatayra, an outstanding statement. And that is that Tzedakah Charity, and Gimilus Chasadim acts of kindness, they are equal to all of the mitzvahs in the Torah. That means that if you do a chesed, if you write a check to tzedakah, if you help another person, and we'll learn in this chapter what, ches- what chesed really means, so you are doing something that is equivalent to all of the mitzvahs that there are in the Torah, which is fascinating and something that is a major concept and idea in our thought. It, it changes the way that a person is going to approach doing chesed. You'll love chesed. I, it's not always easy. Sometimes it's inconvenient. It's frustrating the people that you have to deal with when you're trying to do a chesed for them. All of that might be true. But any time that you are engaged in an act of gemilos chasadim, loving kindness for somebody else, you are doing something that is equivalent to all of the mitzvahs that there are in the Torah. What could be better than that? The only thing that we learned is the similar is, as we said in the previous chapter, Limanat Torah. Anyone that is Isaac that learns Torah, it's Keneged, Kol, Hat, all the mitzvahs, it also is equivalent to all the mitzvahs. So imagine a person who does, he learns Torah every day. Imagine a person who does chesed every day. Everything that you're doing is equivalent to all of the mitzvahs that there are in the Torah. Could there be any greater schar reward that a person could envision or imagine for themselves? Your entire day, if you're surrounded with the right things, you wake up in the morning, you daven, you learn, and you find time to do chesedim. And as we'll learn in this chapter coming up, Chesed is partly based on the kavana, the intention that you have while you are doing a deed. If you are doing something that is an irregular activity that you do, you're changing your baby's diaper. If you have in mind that it should be a chesed, you are getting a mitzvah of chesed. You are making lunches for your children late at night before school. And therefore, they will be able to eat and devour that food when they are hungry the next day. You got yourself a chesed. You are cooking a nice meal for your husband. When he comes home and he sits down, ah, after a long, hard day at work, and there on the table is waiting a fresh, a hot, made meal. That's a chesed, that's kindness. We wash the laundry, we clean the floors. We make the bed for a guest that's going to stay in our home. We give somebody a ride to go someplace. Even though you're going there yourself, you both have to go to shul. You both have to go to school. All of that is true. However, your intention is that it should be done as a chesed. So then you're doing something that's going to be equivalent to all of the mitzvahs that there are inside of the Torah. So that means if you learn every day and you do chesed every day, you're getting double, triple, quadruple, hundreds of thousands of mitzvahs will be accredited to you for all of the acts of kindness and tzedakah that you are involved with. We have a lot to learn in this chapter and chesed is something that is so central to our everyday life. The more that we learn about it and we understand how to fulfill these mitzvahs of chesed in the right way, the more excited and the more enthusiastic we will be about it, and the greater is going to be the reward in the ways in which we fulfill this great mitzvah of chesed. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.